Hi everyone and welcome to Home Reno Collectibles where today we're going to be taking a look at the Marvel Legends Builder Figure Absorbing Man. Now this figure stands 8 inches tall so it is a pretty decent size. And what you're looking at here isn't actually like the final version of the figure because we actually have uh, the head that's on there which is designed for that left arm. So here we can see uh, a sort of rock design right there. So Absorbing Man basically absorbs the powers of, of or you know, at least the attributes of whatever he touches. So, uh, you know, here obviously he's got a, a rock for his left arm. And we got nice shading that follows onto the skin as well. I have seen in other people's reviews uh, the colour not going onto the hinges. Well, on my arms the colour does actually go on the hinges on both sides. So it has actually been coloured on both sides. So that's very good. Uh, and then obviously this head uh, is meant for that as well. So he's got that one half of his head rock. You can see the overspray which is really, really nice because it's sort of like fading into his regular skin. So I really do like that. He's got the golden eye. He's, uh, you know, screaming and whatnot. We've got the really really nice uh, veins popping and everything really really great musculature for this guy and then here we have the uh, metallic uh, you know metal silver arm again looking fantastic uh, however the wrecking ball right here uh, it's it's pretty bland honestly it's pretty crappy we have actually got one with uh, one of the wreckers and it was actually you know the same sort of look as this and the one on the package on the you know back of all the boxes for the builder figure it does actually look like that as well so they just haven't painted this the way it should really i wouldn't display him with it though it just looks kind of crappy in that arm so you also get a regular head he looks angry a bit pissed off but it's not using any powers you also get a left arm again with the fist uh you know that's just a regular left arm and then we have a wooden right arm. Now the weird thing is the right arms can actually move 90 degrees. Both of them can move 90 degrees. The left arms, both of them, like that one's more bulky, so fair enough. But this one is the same as those, and it doesn't quite go 90. You can see that 90 would bring it up to there, and that's really forcing it. So it's kind of strange that the left arms don't have as much articulation in the elbow as the right ones. But as for the rest of the articulation, the head, it hinges back and forward just a little bit, but it doesn't actually look up properly, so that kind of sucks. But it does uh, look left and right, and you get a little bit of pivot. The shoulders come out and go all the way around. Now the good thing is, um, unlike previous builder figures, they are actually easy to pop the arms off. So you can actually interchange those parts easy enough, but they won't just like fall out if you don't want them to. So that's very good. Rotation the part of the arm, you've seen the uh, elbow. Rotation at the wrist and a hinge going in and out there. The abs are very good, it goes back and forward very well. We have a waist twist here, the belt does cover that, so you can go ahead and move that where you want, and then go ahead and cover it back up with the belt. The hips come out to the side, forward and back very nicely, rotation of part of the thigh, double jointed knees. The feet don't move all that much up and down, or side to side that much, you know, with the ankle pivot, but it is there. So you can pose him around a little bit with a bit of a wider stance and whatnot, and he will still have a solid base for standing. So uh, here he is next to Venom from the same wave and Venom is a slightly taller than average Marvel Legends figure again it's just one of the figures that I have here Chameleon this is more of a standard size figure so you can see it is a decent builder figure size and I really really do like it I mean it's a classic character it's not one for everyone but if you are into the character and if you read a lot of the older Marvel comic books you probably will definitely want this builder figure it's very well done. Like I said, the articulation on uh, you know some of the arms right there and the head could be improved. It would have been nice if you came with a much better done wrecking ball as they have done it in the past. But if you already have that older wrecking ball from one of the wreckers, you can just go ahead and use that with him. It'll look great. And you don't have to get every single figure in the line to go ahead and build it because obviously you get the different arms with different characters. So I like that as well. But that's all I have to say about this figure, really. So if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a like. Thank you for watching, guys. If you want to check out more pictures of anything else from my collection, check out my Instagram. It's homerino123, and the link is in the description below, along with my Twitter and my Twitch. And for more Marvel Legends reviews, I do actually have the new Civil War wave on its way. So go ahead and subscribe for that. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.